when you rotate around your shoulders, we need to place at important points of the body motion capture markers. Constantly on all your markers, all 16 cameras are looking and 3D reconstructing. What we're doing right now is a so-called range of motion. You know, like pretend you're on a motorbike. Very good. Previously, motion capture was mainly used to get very high quality data and then reproduce that data as animations. Most recently, research groups like us are sort of pushing the boundaries. We want to actually interpret the data. We want to know what was recorded in what style, what was the intent of the people, and it's going more into artificial intelligence and medical analysis and higher level things. The great thing about Mariano Rivera is we could capture in 3D his specific style of pitching. This was a perfect application for the New York Times because they want to visualize baseball pitches. This was a significant step because now we can capture anything that's broadcast on sports TV. Basically everywhere where you have a camera, we can motion capture that. So we get interest from competitive sports teams, how to improve the performance of their players, how to prevent injuries, or when you have injuries, how to recover from them. So this is now competitive sports and medical analysis together. There are lots of new treatments for movement disorders, like dystonia and Parkinson's and epileptic seizures. I guess. So we, after this, we can actually exactly measure how long your bone length is, if you're asymmetric, if you're in misalignment. We can use motion capture technology to assess treatment A versus treatment B. You just want to take a standard camera and then record somebody before they have this treatment and then record somebody after they have this treatment and then sort of measure objectively how much, for example, a movement disorder improves to better motion. Motion signature, or sometimes called your body language, is the strongest signature you have. I usually move my hands when I speak to somebody to express myself. If I can speak in French, I'm going to be more myself, you know? We can very accurately determine the specific style of a person, how they move. We replaced the motion capture lab with this green dot technique. By passing my plan to provide... We first focused on different US politicians. For example, with Hillary Clinton, it's very symmetric. She always does this. She wants to include many people. And with her gestures, she wants to sort of connect with the audience. It's a pattern recognition task now. This is good for security applications. And for anti-terrorism, we can use this. The Department of Defense approached us if we can apply our techniques in motion signature to detect just based on the way people move, which person that is. Or we can find, for other applications, cultural background. Social scientists even want to use it to analyze social behavior and psychological behavior, and even marketing can use it for some analysis. I was fascinated by human and character motion for a really long time. I actually started with hand-drawn animations. I started drawing frame by frame to really understand what's the nature of this motion. Right now, this camera is here to trigger 120 frames per second with a very, very fast shutter. I'll get a lot of interested students coming from totally different parts of the university. Of course, computer science is at the core, but students from animation, dance students, uh, film students, even architecture students come in, and they can apply all this to their own discipline. The long-term scientific agenda is to figure out what is so special about human motion. It's the oldest thing of human life, you know, motion. It's not how people speak or language or anything. It's motion was there first.